Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, I saw that I had a revenge on this team, and then he was on online, and I couldn't attack, but I just came back to look at the team, and what was once the tank has now been moved to flank, so... Um, this is the highest emblemed version of Raphael that I've seen. Triple healers here, with Neath as the kind of gatekeeper to try to siphon mana away. Not really siphon, but remove mana and introduce blind. So, I'm trying to think of what approach I want to take here. I don't really love my purple team options, but I also don't use a purple team very often, but maybe we'll try that here. I could also just go with the team that I have now, which is not a great fit. There are a lot of buffs here, though. Let's try that once, and then we'll, we'll see what happens after. How much to reset our chest here. Okay, we'll try it once with this team just because I love this team. And see what Raphael can do. This is a lot of healing. Which can either be detrimental to them or too much for me to overcome. So we'll see which which it ends up being. I was hoping for the blue diamond there. All right, so we got Neath coming up here. Hmm. <laughs> so we don't want to make very many matches before she fires because they'll be removed. So blues are already starting from zero. Um, let's try to get another red match here. Okay, she's in a fire. Well, let's see how much damage this does. If it kills her, great. If not, it's not too big of a deal. Okay, we got rid of her. We got a cleanse. We are doing all right. Hmm, so he's about ready to die if I were to attack. Um, which I don't want to do, because I want him to fire. Hmm. Who's Finley gonna hit? Okay. Two blues. I don't think two blues will kill him. Okay, so this is gonna be interesting. He's in a quickly. Oh god. That was really unfortunate. <laughs> Um, I did not anticipate that happening. Okay, so we gotta take out Neath immediately. Um, let's go with just the reds first. Get some protection here. Hit her again. So, 240 per turn is pretty significant. Um, damn, we got nothing to hit Heimdall with, except water damage, which he would need. Two turns would be enough just by one, but he's not gonna... He's gonna fire before then. All right, so now we can heal and get rid of Heimdall. This should kill Gravemaker. Uh, 
All right, now we got nothing. So yeah, when he fires after Mother North is when it gets nasty. So he just healed 200, jeez. Um, so granted we are letting them survive. Um, so the effectiveness that we're seeing is a little bit exaggerated. But still, I think he has the strongest heal in the game. And he's already back to full health. Um, so granted those are with maxed emblems, which is not typical, but that's not really impacting his heal at all, because he's not percentage based. Actually, it's increasing his initial heal on himself because his HP is higher than it would be in the base form. All right, so he's down to 195. Let's see where that goes in one turn. Wow, so he just healed 195, almost 900 in one turn. So the, the danger there is that he was right on the edge uh, where a tile or two would kill him. So it's not often that he'll be able to come back from that and heal for 900. He has to be totally in the red, which is really risky. Um, but the heal is huge, and the fact that it's team-wide means that, um, another 240, means that they're, uh, if you're using, especially in the age of dot damage, where you're sort of chipping away at everyone, um, he can be helpful, because then there could be a number of people at very low health, and he's going to pull them all back pretty quickly, so... He is good in that regard. Um, yeah, let's get him back to full health and see if we can use all of our specials to kill him in one turn. That is close enough. Well, he's in a fire again right now, so we'll give him one more turn. Nope, unfortunately we just gained 100% extra damage, but let's see what that does. Still not enough. So he's going to be crazy in the rush attack tournaments. Um, there's a lot of good monks though, so I don't think he's worth the emblems personally. But still an interesting hero nonetheless, and it was... Cool to see what he's like at Max Emblem, so that if you were thinking about doing that, you can see what you'd be working towards in terms of his efficacy. If, if they had removed one of those healers, like, if they had gotten rid of Heimdall, who, or Mother North, um, but she has the highest revive chance, so her reviving and then Raphael firing afterwards would be really good. I think some, uh, maybe... Mother North and Raphael on the wing with some mana boosting hero like Sif to try to get Raphael to fire a little faster. Could be good. You still got three passive people there, two healers. Then if you had two pretty dangerous heroes at tank and the other flank, that, that could work. I think the three healers ended up being a weakness, um, even without any mana control from me. So if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you want to see more subscribe and hit the bell icon thank you guys so much for watching liking commenting subscribing and just generally being awesome i'll see you guys in the next video